Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallygoalie.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings and follow my new YouTube channel, Yoga with Goldie, in case you're interested in yoga. I'm going to be planning, I'm planning to post there more often, so if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. So Virgo, I see that I'm seeing someone like just put their hands up. Like I am over it. It's like you're at this place where you're, it's like you're done with the games. That's just what I'm hearing. You're done with the games. You're done with um, just involving yourself with people that are like grown children and you're taking time for you to just recharge yourself, recharging your batteries and meditate on things, contemplate on things. It's like you've taken a step back here because you're looking at a situation right now like you've kind of lost hope, okay? I'm seeing that it may have caused you a lot of anxiety. This situation, a person has caused you anxiety here and you're you're going back and forth when it comes to what direction to go in okay knight of swords mm. i'm seeing i'm seeing a really sudden a sudden decision or you suddenly having some clarity on a situation after confusion and there's something i do see you moving ahead with towards your own your own expansion what are what is it that you're preparing for oh hmm okay so I'm seeing you are walking away or turning your back on a situation that has just like really brought out a lot of stress or anxiety, a situation that has been toxic or just, I mean, I'm picking up too casual. If this is a relationship, you're, you're walking away from situations or relationships that just are not what what your what it is that you want or where you see yourself going and you're preparing yourself to step into your own queen energy stepping into your queen energy um allowing things to come to you allowing yourself to receive what's meant for you and finding confidence that you're you that you are headed in the right direction even though you're walking away or turning your back on a situation that has in some way taken taken your power or in some way feels like there was a lot of manipulation going on and you're saying to yourself i'm a queen or i'm a king i don't need to be here okay so you're creating a more calm state of mind a more peaceful state of mind for yourself here working on creating more balance in your life creating a change 
when it comes to your, your mind space externally and internally too, though. The moon reverse. So something is like coming to light. And I feel like this is you wanting to bring something to light, wanting to bring um, clarity here over the fact that it's like, I feel like you really tried to fight for a situation here, but at this point you're saying I've lost hope and no, I'm hearing knowing when to quit. It's like you, there's this knowing of like when to fight for something and then also a knowing of when to quit, knowing when to pull back, knowing when to pivot because I see you pivoting here. There is a lot of fighting, fighting, conflict, drama, and that's why you lost hope. Even secrets, like someone I feel like has been really secretive or some, you felt like somebody was keeping you a secret here. And, and with this uh, high priestess, it's like you are naturally really intuitive or you naturally pick up on things or you have like had certain suspicions about a situation. Okay. Hmm. So I'm seeing you're in a transition. For some reason, the situation you're in, you're not, you're not yet able to, uh, it's like, I see you preparing to turn your back on it, but at the same time, there's something that is still keeping you attached to this empress energy. It could be a mother or someone's mother or a mother figure children. Something is like still keeping you attached to this. And you're trying to figure out how can I, how can I go my own way and, and slowly detach while at the same time trying to support, I feel like you're trying, there's someone you're trying to support here. There's something or someone you're trying to support. And this is like making you move slower. Yeah, it feels like I'm seeing someone like swimming. Like it just feels like you're think life just feels kind of slow right now or this transition just feels kind of slow right now. But the world does mean that you are going to be closing this chapter up pretty soon and things are going to speed up or you're going to feel lighter, free, able to to move forward or to step forward, take these steps forward in your life faster. Yeah, there's something I see you trying to stay strong right now. It's like you're just trying to stay strong. Nine of Cups. Okay. And, and finding strength or happiness and peace even through the, an obstacle. Tell me about this empress around. Magician. Eight of Cups. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like there's an attachment to this to this empress. Or this empress feels some sort of attachment to you. Something has or someone has kind of latched on to you. And I want this is someone who I'm saying this is someone who is like kind of walking back towards you to try to manifest some something more positive here. But I'm picking up like unhealed, I'm unhealed energy from this person. It's like, I don't see this as a bad person. I just see there's just like something that's unhealed about them. And it it's like coming, it's like kind of, they're like kind of latching onto you and causing you more anxiety. And you're just like, Ugh, I just need some space. But the good news is you will be moving forward. 
and things are going to be moving faster. It just feels like you're in like quicksand or your 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 things are just slow, but there's going to be forward movement because I see you basically taking action towards towards your towards your own growth and your own expansion at this point. Something about Snapchat or social media. You could talk to this person through social media a lot. I'm seeing a King of Pentacles reverse, so Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. Let's see. This person's feeling unstable about certain news that they're receiving or they feel like you just gave them some sort of bad news and they're feeling unstable from this. But at the same time, they're not willing to walk away. They feel like they, they can't walk away from this. Hmm. Two of Cups. They still feel a connection to you. I, I see this person as trying to figure out how to take action towards you or which ways to, to, to communicate with you. There There is communication coming from this person. It's like literally about to like blowing up your phone over here. Clarify this seven of cups. Hmm. There's a lot of confusion about like moving this forward. They still want to move this forward. They're trying to figure out different ways to move this forward and they're confused as they're com they're just confused right now. Clarify okay, this eight of wands. Ugh. The devil just keeps coming up here. Like it like they they're wanting to see if you're still attached to them. And I also feel like this person's also really anxious too, though. They're anxious over communication. They're anxious over, like, the fact that, that you've lost hope and that they're not feeling stable or they're not feeling like they have control over this now. They're saying there's still hope. There's still hope for what, though? I'm seeing someone, like, grasping, grasping hope. Okay. Page of Pentacles. So, there is a... I'm seeing there is, there is, like, something new. I see some sort of offer being made here. That I see you going ahead with working on a situation, working. I'm I'm hearing someone saying, "Oh, I'm gonna work on this," or "I'm gonna work us on work on my anxiety, work on my stress." Someone has added like a certain amount of stress to a, a situation or relationship, and is like saying, "I just I I'll work on this." It does look like this will just kind of be like a casual relationship, though. Or you're moving forward with a more casual relationship. Oh. You're moving to forward towards someone who you're going to be crushing on or have been crushing on. And you're leaving behind, like, a situation that just feels like it's old or outdated. Who is this crush? Shock. This person is, um, this is someone who, oh my gosh, for some of you, this is somebody who you may have like blocked at some point or somebody was closed off. 
you may have cl been closed off to this person because they're saying you're moving towards a crush. Hmm. There is some, there is an offer being made to you. There's communication coming in that's going to help you um, move forward faster. It's like you're in this, I'm seeing a crab breaking, moving into like a new shell, a bigger shell. And it's like you're in this place where it just feels slow or tight or scary. But once you move into this bigger shell, you have so much more space. It feels like you're, you're just, you're in that transition and you are headed towards bigger things. Yeah, three weeks I'm picking up on. The next three weeks. Three weeks to three months, three, three, three. I'm seeing the numbers four as well. Those numbers could be birthdays, synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters M, C, A, R, T, H, S, Y. The letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.